Hi there, Chris here again, <laughs> real quick. So I had this Simmons, um, and I had it trimmed apart because there wasn't any spring pressure on this core. Uh, it's a very cool lock, Simmons. Uh, I've cleaned it up a little bit since the last little video. Um, there's the key, now you can see more details on it. And you see the number, and it works. I've cleaned it all up inside and out, and it works very nice, except there's no spring pressure on the core. And the reason, once I got inside, was I found this, which is part of, I have one here, out of jacks. This is, that part is broken off. So it no longer is is functioning as a spring. So that's too bad. Anyway, a couple of things uh, I've learned with jacks, <coughs> pardon me, with jacks lock and this lock. Oops, there's something written on there. Now that we can see this. I don't know, patent something, but I can't read it. Maybe you guys can read it. Nineteen sixteen. Nine, oh, nineteen nineteen. Patent June twelfth. God, I can't. Can't make it out. Anyway, <clears throat> so it does. It has no spring pressure, but I've uh, cleaned it out. It's a very cool lock, being that it's a, a Simmons and B, it's five pins. And <clears throat> working on Jack's lock and and other locks, I learned a couple of techniques. Um, do you want to? And these not only for push key locks, but other locks that are all gunky. If you want to clean up the gunky pins, you take a piece of 500 wet and dry, and you do what I call the, um, you put a little WD-40 in there, or lighter fluid, and I do what I call the roll your own method. And <clears throat> you just roll it with the fluid in there, and that takes all the gunk off of it. And if it tends to work on the ed edges better, so you just take your fingernails and work the center. So you just roll it up back and forth, back and forth. And then you clean up your pin. Another thing I've uh, <clears throat> learned is the, you have a core, do I have a core? <laughs> I'm gonna not have a core apart. Anyway, if you have a uh, stuck spring in here and it's too, you know, you've sprayed, cleaner in it and lubricated it and beat on it and it still hasn't come out you could do the brother brother go find your brother method which is to take a, a new spring and you see I've cut it so it has a wild end and you stick that down I'm gonna sneeze Pardon me. Um, you stick that down into the hole where the stuck spring is and with that wild end, and then you sort of turn the spring, you manipulate the spring around, and sometimes it will hook a piece of that stuck spring or the whole spring and pull it out. So two, two new cool methods. That, I mean, to me, they're new. Uh, and helpful. So I think that was all. I still have not found the key for this guy. Um, this is this guy. And the, what I've been doing with these is I've got a bunch of these cores with no keys. And so you see they're punched. Well, I just sort of drill out that punch so I can access the key pins and drivers and springs 
And then you gotta shim out or pick out the sidebar pins. And then you can uh, find a key, and I have a whole bunch of these different keys for these different asses, and then you can make your own key that works. So, cool stuff. Um, <laughs> and I made, made one up for this, but I can't for the life of me find it because I have too many of these things laying around. Um, but I will find it. Anyway, so I think that's about all. I'm going to go over and check out Paul Springett's <laughs> bi-weekly contest and see how I did. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cool old Simmons. Cleaned up, working. Doesn't have the spring tension anymore, but that's all right. Works fine. All right. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, certainly leave a comment. Uh, thank you for all your support. We will see you next time.